I told oh, him to retrace, retrace, retrace his steps. <laughs> What's good, bro? Peace, peace, bro. <clears throat> You fried that was well, Saturday going. Mm -hmm. I seen something. What's up, Clyde? What's the good with you, bro? It's good. It's good. Sitting back relaxing. Okay. Same thing I'm saying, God. Sitting back relaxing. Now, anyway. <laughs> People to come in. I can't even share this live. That ain't it. Is the music too loud? Peace, Yanni. How you doing, sis? <coughs> okay. Thanks, God. Got some good stuff to talk about tonight. Peace, sis. Indeed. Peace, bro. <coughs> <coughs> Definitely in the building. Ooh. How we make it through this live? Okay, sis. Just let me know it's a little delayed, too. We gonna get started. I guess we gonna go ahead and get started. So tonight, I wanted to uh, be with y'all. You know, talk about some uploads I got, and you know, we just we gonna we gonna build. Cause I got a quite a. I ain't gonna say it's a few, but. A little bit that we can discuss that um 
the importance of our journey. You know, we still unlearning the learn, so. The first thing, peace, bro. It's good what you will. <clears throat> first, we're going to talk about the rim. Now, how can I put this? When you first begin your journey and <clears throat> getting to understand the great ones, the great elders, pieces, <clears throat> and you know when you meditate or you know the connection you have with them, whether they're in a suit or not, right? So we still, when we say we're going to, to connect with them, we say most likely in the realm, right? Which is what we say. We're going to tap, we're going to connect with them, the great ones in the realm. Well, <clears throat> I got to upload that, you know, because I've seen it before, but it makes sense now. But I got to upload that the realm is simply just you. And when I mean about that, I mean, we do have to go within ourselves. Um, we are the universe. Um, everything is a part of you. You are a reflection of everything. So when you're really tapping into the realm, which is with inside of yourself, which is, I mean, which is with outside of yourself, which is you, we are connecting with other reflections. Okay? which we would say some might be in past lives, but they're all a reflection of you, okay? It's only one important piece of the game, and that's yourself. Um, I also got a breakdown of the realm, which is um, breaking it down a, a lot more, okay? The realm is the real, is, is real energy, ascension, living matrix, okay? Now, to understand that when we go in, we're tapping in with the other reflections, right? We're one with the matrix already. And the matrix is the creator of the reflections, okay? That's the experience part of it. Because you're not in the flesh. You're only an image, okay? You are only, you're only an image, you're, you're energy, okay? Having an experience. Okay, in your own creations, which is the matrix. So, the ascension of living is the reflections, the continuous of reflections being created within you, okay? Or the matrix, if you want to say, a part of the matrix. This could be many things. It doesn't have to be a reflection of somebody that's a, 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 a being. This can be, you know, the nature. This can be the internet. Um, because everything is a reflection of what you do and who are you. I mean, who you are. Okay? It's based off your energy. So... Let me make sure I have nothing else to go with that. So next time you tap into yourself to understand, okay, because you got to understand that too, that everything is you. Know that you're going in the realm within yourself, tapping inside of your own matrix, in your own creations, the reflections that is connected to you as one, okay? Now I'm going to go to, I think I got it right here, hold up y'all. Now, what is your purpose in your journey? You know, multiple people, many people can say different things and have their own different perspectives. But the true and the real perspective of it all is to see everything, which even is your creations in light, okay? In your journey. And don't even get caught up in your own demise, okay? So, it's a couple of Bible verses that speak about it, which I've said before, the Bible is definitely about your journey. It's about you. you Got to tap into that. Okay? Because it's not physical, it's spiritual. 
and to know the spirit is energy, you got to understand what you tap it into. Okay? The heart of the man plans his way means our foundation creates our own way. Okay? But the Lord, which we know is the Lord, is the light, establishes his steps, which is your path. The light gives you a clear perspective on your path, a clear vision where you can see completely. Okay? Exactly, Lee. <laughs> exactly, Lee. Peace, T. What's going on with you, bro? <laughs> so, you know, you have to see the light in your in your own creation because man is just the hues of the spectrums of the reflections of man, which we call here in the matrix, okay? I'm going to get back to that too. Commit your work to the Lord, which is you are going to commit your work, your journey to your light. That's the only way you're going to be able to see. Okay? And we've been blind by, been blind, we had our eyes closed, so we can't even see the light. But now in this time, we're able to see things and you're going to have to understand what you're seeing. Okay? So you won't get your emotions all worked up. Okay? So, um, this is another um, verse that actually explains who you really are. Okay? Because whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, you still do glory to the God, which is oneness in all your reflections so it goes back to nothing can do nothing to you or do harm to you unless you allow it whether whatever you eat or you drink or you choose to do as long as you give glory to the one which is your higher self which is you as one in case those who don't know the fifth dimension is definitely the love frequency within yourself you're restoring love within yourself. The type of love you ain't never had before. Okay? You hear me, bro? <laughs> the type of love you ain't never hit, had before. The real feeling of love that you can feel within yourself. That vibration that you take that takes place within yourself on a higher frequency. You're able to feel that. So you gain your new heart, like we said before, which is a new creation of a new world within you, a new self, a new higher perspective of yourself, okay? You've died and you have transitioned into the new you, gaining balance and peace within yourself. Now you have control over your journey. This is our purpose. It's alright to indulge in your creations because why not? That is what your creations are for. But never forget what your journey is. Don't allow your, your creations sometimes to take place where they bring you down into a lower frequency of yourself where you don't know which way to go and you stay stuck in that. Okay? So you're still going to have to shed light on your journey. uploads like we've always said before for those who don't understand that what we when we say we get uploads it's it's, it's uploading your memories to, to to light every experience every reflection comes takes place within you so when those uploads come you you tend to tap into your common sense which is your higher self You understand what is being said or what is being put out. You understand the frequency of energy. Okay? We've lost our attention on that too. We've lost our attention on that. But, I'm going to go to this next um, upload that I got. My sis was talking about the chakras the other day. 
And I love the way that she broke down the colors of the spectrums of the chakras. Because it still has to do with you. Okay? We also got that it's really only four chakras that matter. Because the other three are portals. Okay? You do the most work coming out of your heart, right? And it comes out of your mouth or through your throat. That's a portal. When you elevate in your heart, which is your foundation or your roots, and you elevate, you level up, you are rising within your higher self, which is going into a portal into your light. They don't even exist here, but exist within yourself. We all know the Yanni is a portal too. But they were listed as the sacred uh, chakra or the root chakra. But as we know, the root lies within the womb. Uh... The portal, um, the Yoni portal is energy generating reflections, whether it's through birth or balance, okay? Because, and what I mean by that is meaning that you can birth your creations, okay? Which is coming through a portal. Or you can have a connection with somebody. And y'all might not be creating light or life, but you're bringing in balance within both of you, in, within both of y'all selves. Okay. And children, they see and they feel energy. So they don't see these suits like we see them. Okay. That's why certain children or your, your children won't go to certain people. Or they have to kind of... Be around them for a second before they allow themselves to connect to them. Because maybe it's something, you know, they might have a guard up. And they can't really read they or connect with their energy. And that's why we always say pay attention to your children. Because they know energy better than you do. The chakras are levels that open up your portals. Okay? That's what chakras are. There are levels <laughs> that open up your portals. Whether you connect into your higher self, or whether you cleansing and it's coming out through your throat chakra, or whether you pushing in birth, or you 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 gaining balance within yourself. Okay. Ears are portals too. Well, of course, they're not on the chakra, right? but they're portals too. And it's, re it's just regenerating your energy back into your, high, your highs or your lows within yourself. Okay? Right, bro. They're your levels within your journey. Okay. Now back to these these three portals that we got on the seven chakras um chart, right? What I asked my sister the other day, I said, "What color yesterday, matter of fact, what color are those chakras, right?" <laughs> and she said, um, "She said, well." The sacred or the root chakra is red, of course. That's what they put on there. Remember, everything is in symbolism as well. Okay? And then you got the throat chakra that is blue. And then your first eye, or, or your crown, which is, they, they put it as purple or violet. Okay? But the symbolism behind the violet or the, or the purple is divine energy. 
and divine energy is light, right? And light is white. So when I was shown that, I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. So automatically the flag, po it, it, it clicked to me. So these flags that we got in our stimulations are all connected to energy. Portals. That's why America is the land of the free. Okay? And America is just a miracle. A miracle. It's a miracle happening. Okay? Because these are the portals. It symbolizes the portals within yourself. And the highest portals is the, is the portal to your Christ energy. Also the most manipulating ass nation. <laughs> using your energy to, to get into your portals. Like your first eye or your heart. Or the mask over our face. Over our mouth, where you can't breathe, covering up your portals, declassifying your portals. Especially the Yanni. Okay? So, from that, I gotta upload about my, my aunt. And we know my eye is the goddess of cosmic order, truth, justice, morality, uh, happiness, I mean harmony, stability, and balance. Now we've been talking about the masculine and feminine energy becoming one to gain balance. And my, my eye represents that. That's the symbolism of that. Okay? The whole heart, your heart has to be light as a feather, meaning your, your heart has to be clinch from the conditions or your trauma okay or your pain whatever it's got a chain on you that's holding you down in your heart it has to be taken out so your heart can become light as a feather okay the colors for my eye is Purple and black. Divine dark energy, right? Divine energy. Straight out of darkness. So... I think what is it, the little, uh, I can't even think of the little scale. But they both have to be balanced. That's the reason. That's the symbolism of balance as well. Now, I'm going to get to this right here. Because I'm just going to go from upload to upload. And this is how I tend to get them. They be from one thing to another. Okay? That's why I might sound like I'm a little all over the place. But these are just uploads. And they come in that way. Okay? <laughs> Melanin, because we tend <laughs> to still compare melanin, melanin to skin. This is the game changer. Melanin is your light. It's the same thing as the atom. It's the same elements that create the atom. The atom holds the light. The color begins only resemble the color beings only resemble the darkness. Now this right here gets deep because we'll say that you know that these such and such they don't like us because of the color of our skin. You don't even understand why they don't like you because of the color of your skin. It has nothing to do with race. It has nothing to do with the color. I mean, it has nothing to do with race, but it does have something to do with the color of your skin. So you're right about that. But it's a lot deeper than what you think is God. Okay? 
Because we are all the light. We are all gods. But this one right here will take the cake for y'all. I'm going to give it to you because this is what I, get, what I got. Now the false elite know that you are truly a reflection of the all. And when I mean the all, I mean darkness. Because that's what creation came out of. Okay? You are truly, right, says 666, six, six, six. you are truly the reflection of darkness. That's the beginning. That's why they don't like you. You are a reflection and a reminder of what the beginning looks like. It has nothing to do with race. Race is created. Race is taught. This is facts. You can't change this. Because in the beginning there was only what? Darkness. The light don't phase you. The sun don't phase you. It phased them, right? Okay? That's like a slap in the face to them, but see, they don't even understand. That they just a reflection of light. And that's why they call themselves God and they portray the image of them in front of you to be ultimately. But see, darkness is ultimately. Because through light, you have to go back to darkness. Mad about who at the beginning. <laughs> I'm just so grateful to be the reflection of all. Light included. Mm-mm-mm. Now, I got this too. And I know a few people might be like, What? Are you serious, girl? Are you kidding me right now? But I'm going to give you the truth. And it's only what I know that what I got and what I seen. And if you feel like you might want to see it yourself, you know what you can do. Like I always say, tap in. Keep going. Because it's level through this shit right here. Exactly, Yanni. Oh, we, girl, we right here. Now, let's make this correction right here. Because through research, I know we all have researched and got somewhere down the line that woman was first. But see, I think it's been a little misconception on what we read. Or not even what we read, it, it, the intake, understanding what, 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 we, what we read. We didn't see it. We was just reading. That's why we said you got to tap within yourself because you can read a hundred pages, but if you ain't tapped in to that energy, you ain't getting nowhere. Okay? But we've heard that women were here first. When you're talking about birds, what are you talking about? Because we got this human form, right? To know that we are not human form. We are humans. We're nothing physical. Okay? But the first being before woman was oneness, some known as the Baphomet, the great Sophia, oneness, divine energy and masculine energy as one. No, that's what that was. 
Now, woman, or we would say the womb man, is a symbolism of the woman. Okay? Well, the woman is a simulation, a, a, a symbolism of the woman, which is the womb. Because I'm about to break that down to you in just a moment. But woman was the first image. Image. Nothing physical. Image. Okay? And man, let me back it up just a little bit. Now, this good, this good old man that they say, you know, it's supposed to be Adam, that we come from our, that Adam's real, which is just a masculine energy. Okay? It's just a masculine energy. Is the creator. And what I mean by creator is because he carries the seed. This energy carries the seed. So you need a negative and a positive, okay, to create light or life. Okay? He plants the seeds. The foundation, the root starts to grow within the womb. Okay? And the womb, which is the woman, produces reflections out. Okay? So we call her the creator or the ultimate creator. Because without woman or the womb, you still can't create. Your seeds cannot Grow. You need a foundation. Okay? That's why woman is the ultimate high energy. Because you need the womb. So yeah. For those men who want to say that woman comes from Adam's. Adam's real. Which is a seed. Okay? Yeah. You plant the seed. Okay? And we can't give life if we don't have your seeds. See, we need each other. This is how the light keep going. Or life keep create, being created. Or reflections are still coming. Because we need each other. Okay. Now back to the good old man. Because even though we know we know the woman is is a symbolism of the womb, which is your root chakra, where your root chakra lies, okay? That's the foundation. That good old man which plants the seeds is the matrix. That's why it's called a man's world. He created. He's the architect. See, don't you need seeds for things to grow? Yes. And in this game of the Matrix, you have to think like a man. That's why so many women... Empowerments of trying to be equal to men. See, on some physical shit. You know what I'm saying? And not even standing that you got to tap into your masculine side. Which is becoming one with the matrix as well. Which is the man. That's how you beat the game. Life was created in the womb. And the womb is 
is birthed in limitless reflections. So this this gonna keep going and going. This is endless. So there you have it. Same thing with Ike, Adam and Eve. Those reflections was put in place. You know, symbolisms of the reflect of the light. I told you everything lives up is 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 decoded by symbolisms, numbers, and colors. You gotta tap within, you gotta tap in. Now we was the under guys, we was the under guy, uh, underdogs, y'all. And we became the goats. The goats is coming up the mountain. <sighs> Let me see. This is a little bit about energy, the oneness, the scripture right here. Basically talking about who you are as a being. Okay? God the Father is a spirit. We know oneness is God and spirit is energy. Your eye or his eyes are spiritual. Okay? But he sees beyond what is on to what will be. Means you see beyond this matrix and this these creations. You see beyond all reflections and you see the light in everything. You think outside of the box. You're not in the box. You're not controlled by your your own creations or the matrix or your own demise. You are the controller. Okay. And for you to think it, it to certainly create it. Meaning you create. You know? With your energy by thought. As they would say, by thought, which is your energy. And we look at a human as a piece of material. Tell me why. Why we look at a human as, as, a, as a piece of material? A suit, I would say. But it's a substance of full potential which is giving you an experience. Okay? So that just gave give you a little bit of who you really, who you are. Just a little bit. Trying to make sure I'm not overgoing it because I don't got Adam. Okay, right here in Genesis, um, they talk about who you are as well. That's why I say read the Bible, tap into it. Okay, and stop. Don't look at it literal because you're gonna get lost. Okay, <laughs> it's a hot part right there. Yeah. Okay, this is going to talk about, like I said, the energy that dwells within you. Um, this is the Genesis verse 32, 11 through 12, which is saying, please deliver me from the hand of my brother. For I, I mean, from my brother, from the hand of Ishay, Ishu, for I fear him, that he may come and attack me, the mothers, with the children, which is the divine energy and the inner child of the light. But you said, I will surely do good, do you good, and make your offspring as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered, 
for multitude, meaning you're going to have to come out of your conditions and come out of that fear. You're going to have to come out of those conditions and come out of that fear. Protect and become one with that masculine energy because it's a beast. And when you look up that name, I think his name is Isha, Ishu, as the um, boy, uh, as the man, the name means Harry. And when you think of Harry, you think of the beast or you think of anything that's an animal, right? Of course. So that's your, your, your root chakra, where your beast lies. You're going to have to not be scared of your beast. You know, to see everything in light and to connect with your higher self, which is the feminine side, in your light. The time is now. The time is now. And we're going to have to understand that. Whether you like it or not, energy is going to be one regardless. And that connection is going to be found some kind of way. Even if it's just with somebody else. Before it's with you, within yourself. So. Learn who you are. Understand who you are. And know that you are limitless, you are endless, you are energy, you are light, you are the highest of the high, you are the creator, you are all. And walk in your journey with your light. But I'm going to get up out of here, y'all, because I'm a little high too. And my mouth is dry. So, and I feel like I'm rambling a little bit. Okay. But I don't think I forgot. I don't think I forgot anything. I think I got everything. Yeah, I got everything. So yeah, I'm gonna get up out of here because I got everything, <laughs> and I got no more to talk about. But I love y'all. Shut up, Lee. <laughs> But I love y'all, and I will talk to y'all soon. So peace, love, and oneness. Y'all have a good Mother's Day to all the mothers. <laughs>